In this video, I'm going to explore the concept of differential calculus, also known as differentiation. So in the advanced XY graph uh, video, part one, we looked at how we could draw tangents to a curve and then work out dy by dx for those different tangents and then come up with an equation, uh, dy by dx equals two, for example, for y equals x squared. But what about if we've got a function and we wanna know exactly what the gradient is at any point. So what's the equation for the gradient of that curve or what's dy by dx? And we wanna be able to do that without having to draw all these tangents. Well, we can use differentiation. And so um, this is a part, part of calculus. And we saw in the advanced xy graph video part one that if we differentiate y equals x to the n, we get n times x to the power of n minus one. And in fact, there's a whole range of different functions that we can differentiate. Um, and we can just look up uh, the, what we get to when we differentiate in a table. So for example, at the top there, we've got a being a constant. That just goes to zero when we differentiate it. We've got um, the differential for x to the n, sine x, and, and so on. So back to our function then that we want to differentiate. So dy by dx for this, we need to differentiate each of these terms uh, individually. So for the first one we get 3 times 0 0.06 times x to the 2 so that's just using what we've already seen before. Uh, the next one we have 2 times 0 0.84 times x so the power's gone down by 1 and we've multiplied by the original exponent um, and it's negative because that was negative before. Uh, this goes to 3.6 and then the 0 0.4 just goes to 0. So overall we have dy by dx equals 0 0.18, so that's just 3 times 0 0.06 x squared, minus 1.86x plus 3.6. So then we've got an equation that we can use to work out the gradient at any point along this line here. Okay, here's another example, y equals sine x plus 2 and we get this sine curve, but it's been shifted up by 2. And if we want to know the, the, the gradient of this, then again we can use calculus to differentiate. And we know that if we differentiate y equals sine x, we get cos x. Um, so for this example, the sine x goes to cos x, and the 2 goes to 0. So overall we have dy by dx equals cos x. If we take uh, another example, this is y equals cos x plus 2.5. Again, we can use calculus because we know when we differentiate cos x, we get minus sine x. And so in this case, cos x goes to minus sine x and 2.5 goes to zero. So overall, dy by dx equals minus sine x. Okay, so that's been a brief video exploring some concepts to do with differential calculus, also known as differentiation.